Shopping from home is a wonderful convenience many of us have indulged in. It started with catalog shopping, then came QVC and the Home Shopping Network. But the internet affords the ultimate inconvenience. You can shop at your own pace, day or night. And e-commerce analysts expect booming sales this holiday season as more and more homes get wired. But despite the optimistic predictions, many people still have questions about the safety and security of online transactions. Our special correspondent, Hari Srinivasan, takes a look. Online shopping is set to explode. This holiday season alone, researchers say sales could double or even triple from last year's $1 billion spent online. And e-commerce is expected to keep steam rolling along, with revenue topping $400 billion worldwide by the year 2002. With estimates like that, you've got to believe everyone's trying online shopping. I have my credit card online. It's very secure. I believe in e-commerce. I put my credit card online. I have no problem with that, especially on the Internet if you get some good deals. In fact, nearly 26 million households in the U.S. are online, and they're buying everything from stocks and cars to books and jeans. But the rest of the country isn't catching on to the online shopping frenzy, and they certainly aren't using their credit cards in cyberspace. It frightens me to think that someone else could use my, get my information and use it. I would never put that online. I, I don't even like to give it out over the telephone. Never in my life. Stephen Mead is president of virtualsellers.com. He's so sure e-commerce is the wave of the future, he started his own company to help businesses sell their goods safely and securely over the net. I think a lot of the fear from the internet is really just the fact that it's an unknown entity or unknown commodity. I don't really think it's that much different than maybe 10 or 15 years ago when people were getting accustomed to seeing an 800 number on a television. The main difference? One transaction is executed over the phone to a real person and the other is entering a credit card number into the great unknown. The fallacy is that the Internet's insecure. The Internet is an encrypted situation. As long as it's a, a secure site, it is really a safer form of medium. You're more likely to have your credit card stolen at a restaurant than you are through the Internet. But not everyone agrees. Here's a long list of different security holes. Wallace Wang, author of Steal This Computer Book, believes hackers can get around encryption very easily. And they can target a specific computer that people regularly send credit card information to, and then they can snatch little packets of information, decode it later on, and then lo and behold, that has number to buy whatever they want. Wang says that hackers don't often target a specific individual, but they've been known to pinpoint online store databases where credit card numbers are kept on file. He does not use his credit card online. I recommend using the internet to look for what's there available online and then picking up a telephone and using the toll-free number and calling. But Jeff Bezos, CEO of the secure online bookstore, Amazon.com, believes that the fear of cyberspace will subside as more people get online. To get people who are afraid of the technology online, the best way is that, is that their friends are going to do it, and their friends are going to show them how to do it. That's how all new things move into society. A final bit of advice. If you try shopping with your credit card over the net, simply make sure that you're on a secure site. The majority of the time with Netscape, there's a padlock that will lock up. With Microsoft, there's an actual key that will lock up, and that'll give you a good indication that you're in a secure site. Okay, Harry, so do you shop online? Do you think it's secure? Yeah, I've bought books and CDs. I bought a couple of airline tickets. I mean, I think the security is pretty good, and most of the companies realize the potential for hackers to break into their databases, so they keep sensitive information offline. Just names and billing addresses are what they have in their systems. Mm. You online shopaholic, you. You know, it's getting tougher to declare bankruptcy these days. I just <laughs> yeah. want to warn you. Uh, what, are, what are some of the popular items? Well, there are, are some new figures out, and it says that 20 million people have made online purchases so far this year alone. And the big ticket items, or the top sellers, are books and computer hardware and computer software. But, Harry, if there was to be a security problem, what could the consumer stand to lose? Well, I think most credit card companies make you responsible for about 50 bucks if there are charges on your card that you claim aren't yours. And some of the sites, like Travelocity, will actually pay that $50 off for you if there's some sort of a problem when you use their site. Obviously, they guarantee it because they really don't think that you're going to have a problem in the first place. Thanks, Hari. Informative as always. Just ahead on TV.com, everybody knows breaking up is hard to do, but now there's a website to help you get through the hard time. Also, Rome was not built in a day, but you can get the download in a flash.